In this mission, the 134th will participate in a test of the new Pegasus-class stealth fighter, developed for Allied operations in the nebula. The unusual design of the Pegasus minimizes the EM signature emitted by the fighter, making it all but impossible to detect with sensors. This exercise will be the first simulation of the Pegasus under combat conditions in the nebula environment. Alpha Wing, your objective is to defend the GTC Oberon, a decommissioned Fenris cruiser. The Oberon has served the Alliance since the Great War, and most of its systems have been stripped down to repair other cruisers in circulation. Flying the Pegasus prototypes, Delta Wing will attack the Oberon. Your job is to repel their offensive. Your weapons will be neutralized for the duration of the test. Though you may fire your lasers and missiles, they will inflict only superficial damage against Delta Wing. Engineers on board the GTD Aquitaine will monitor the progress of the exercise and gather data to verify the stealth capability and combat potential of the Pegasus. Repeat, abort the exercise. Sensors are reading incoming hostiles. 
Delta Wing, return to the Aquitaine on the double. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. Alpha Wing, your primary and secondary weapons have been rearmed. Hold on the Sheevens as the Aquitaine withdraws. That's a confirmed kill.
Excellent work, pilot. Outnumbered and outgunned, you covered the Aquitaine's retreat through the Gamma Draconis jump node. For saving a capital ship of the Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance from imminent destruction, you are hereby awarded the Order of Galatea. Congratulations. The 64th Raptors need a wing leader, and I think you are just the pilot for the job. Flying bombers is hard work, but with a bank of Cyclops torpedoes, you'll have the firepower to neutralize enemy corvettes and destroyers. We have just received word that Bosch and his rebel fleet are en route to Gamma Draconis. We'll be redeployed ASAP to head them off. Admiral Petrarch will outline the details of our upcoming operation at 2150 hours. 